Morning, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. And I've got something exciting to show you. 700 watts of power coming off the solar panels. Uh, already in absorption mode at, let me see what time it is, hold on a minute here. It's 10.30 in the morning, in absorption mode. 74 degrees indoors, 16 out. Uh, not too bad, got no wind today. But then again, my wind turbine is disconnected since the diode blew out. Waiting on a delivery from eBay. I purchased new blocking diodes. And I'm waiting on them to show up. So that's out of commission right now. The wind turbine is currently um, directly shorted to a dump load until I get the new blocking diodes. But there's no wind anyway, so it doesn't matter. So 10.30 and I'm in absorption mode. That is great. We have a bright and sunny day out here at the off-grid homestead. Looks like it's going to be really nice. Um, had some sun snow this morning already, but it looks like it's clearing up. Looks like it's clearing up out here nicely. I can't wait to get those other solar panels up in front of the tiny house on wheels and trim these trees a little bit here. But right now the snow is slowing me down and ice because my workbench and a bunch of other stuff is frozen to the ground over here next to the tiny house. So makes it uh, impossible at this time to get it moved, to get all that stuff moved, till I can uh, chisel it free. I mean, of course, I don't want to damage anything. So the greenhouse disintegrated in its first season. It's, uh, the plastic absolutely disintegrated. It is not from weather or anything. The wind actually didn't bother it at all, but the the plastic, look at that. You can see the holes through the plastic. Only the fibers are left in places. I am uh, quite disappointed in how that turned out. I did not expect that, but the frame is good, so I'll probably use it this spring anyway and put some more plastic over it and have a, uh, a small greenhouse there anyway. I have a package from... Brenda from Texas came in the mail the other day it had no power so I uh, didn't open it till today by the way power is going to be good today lots of so solar power batteries are restored or re recharged, I should say. Ooh, baby cats, interest. Oh, look at that. Just time for spring. Let's see what we have here. All kinds of seeds. Sunflower. I've been considering doing sunflowers. Uh, zucchini. Green pepper. Thyme. Nice. I love herbs. Okra. Interesting. Peas. Broccoli, good stuff. I eat a lot of that. Ah, asparagus. You have to start that right away. What's this? Cardinal climber vine. Attracts hummingbirds. Nice. You got the summer squash. Good fast growing stuff. Beans, also good. Lily Miller mint. I love mint. Something else I should start right away. What's this? Uh, just some mixed flowers? Baby cat. You want to eat it, huh? Spinach. Ah, uh, hey. Good, now I don't have to go digging. I'm going to plant that right away. And that, actually. Italian salad blend seed mixture. Nice. We'll be planting that soon. Uh, cucumbers. What's this? Oregano. I love my herbs. Carrots, good stuff. Onions. Very good. And sage. Oh, the smell of sage is amazing. There's a message here. Let's see what we have here. Brenda L or Bren L L, I think. There's the name here. Well, thank you. I'm gonna be planting the. Um, I'm gonna be starting some winter greens. So this is perfect for that. The timing is right. The timing is good. Well, thank you very much. I'm already thinking about planting, and there's snow on the ground. Beautiful day at the off-grid homestead. Right now, it is full sunny. 
And I've got some mega solar power coming in. I've been cleaning the cabinets so the countertop is a mess. That is not beer, it's seltzer water. I have been mixing it with uh, apple juice for a happy soda type drink. I have 730 watts continuous today, uh, about 45 amps. Now, this charge controller can handle 60 amps, but or 800 watts, so that confuses me because it's supposed to be a 60 amp charge controller, but that's not 800 watts. Um, anyway, been in absorption mode since 10.30. It is now, uh, I think it's 12.30. And sorry about that, I was trying to check the clock. Looking good. This is a good day for the batteries. Very good day for the batteries today. Um, another nice thing right now is that my... It's 84. 84 in a house. I, I cranked down the wood stove totally. So the sun is heating the house. And it's 32. Well, it was 32 a minute ago. Out in the meadow. And the nice thing is it's only in the teens in town. So definitely you see some solar heating going on here in the uh, my little corner of the woods. And that's a benefit in this time of year. Generally in summer it's a little bit cooler here than in town. And my spring comes a little bit later than even 12 miles away. My spring is about two weeks later. I was really jealous of my friend who uh, was growing vegetables in his house last year. Uh, it is in his little garden. And they did better than mine and took off before mine because of the warmer. Oh, it's dropping right now. Look at that. It's getting colder. Well, anyway. Baby cat, you going to do anything today? Huh? Is that all you're going to do with yourself today? Lazy. <laughs> so, I am working on the truck. I blew a transmission line the other day. And the truck was broke down, not here, obviously, not at home. So I've been out working on it, and I think I got it going. I think it was a blessing, actually, in disguise, because the transmission line ripped off. Um, it actually disconnected where the rubber met the metal line and just came out. So good news is it was a five-minute fix, and I've been pouring transmission in, and now I'm going to take it to town, because now I discovered the radiator cap leaks. So, that's, uh, today is vehicle maintenance day, because it's nice out. And considering we're in the middle of a deep freeze, with the Arctic blast coming down here from Canada. By the way, Canadians, keep it please next time. I don't want it. And, uh, so I've got an exceptionally warm day. For the next two weeks, it's supposed to be deep freeze here. So I'm taking advantage of the warmth and getting the truck fixed up. So won't be doing much recording either today. You know, right, right now in winter, there's not a lot of exciting things to record. I'm either shoveling snow, cutting wood, or whatever. It's not too exciting. But I'll be back, and I'll see you guys later. Good evening. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Um, surprisingly low power I the ba the forklift batteries are still charging up I do think it's just a, the colder temperature the batteries are at 12.4 volts but I am not going to risk it I am just not going to risk it batteries are at 12.4 volts like I said but it's miserably cold but what I wanted to show you is the good news if I can find the number here we go 4,000 watts today this is, look at the trend here, we've had 2600, this is where without the second set of solar panels and all of a sudden, see then we had like 24, 2600, 2100, today must have been a good sunny day, 4000 watts today, that's insane, really really good. Now the um, absorption, it was on absorption mode for 260 minutes today really nice actually the other it's been doing pretty good the last few days so that's why I think the voltage is actually now the the voltage you're seeing the the 12.4 volts is because of the temperature outside I'm pretty sure of it I am working on getting some materials together to insulate and enclose those batteries right away to help improve the the um, capacity and keep them warm overnight but look at that, 4,000 watts today. Really, really good. I did not expect to see that at all. 
by the way the alarm although it does show that there was an alarm today um, it wasn't there wasn't an alarm as often um, I didn't see it at all while I was up there today and one fault I have no idea what that means because it doesn't tell me unfortunately but that is extremely exciting now today I was out shopping with my neighbor Chris white Chris not black Chris and uh, we had a good day we just hung out and um, took him around to different towns to the different stores and stuff and hung out and had a nice time so um, if I, I'll show you what I've got a new couch cover, sofa cover, but I won't, you can't show you because it's all black. Um, let me see. Let me put my headlamp on. Let me pause here. Again, I am just being careful on my forklift batteries because it's cold out and I do not want to hurt them. So I'd rather sit here in the dark. And I've got a new um, silky sofa cover and it's baby cat approved. Baby cat? Is it baby cat approved? Huh? Sofa cover? She likes it. She discovered that she liked leather and she wanted to scratch it. So she was scratching my new couch. And I don't want that because it was a... There's no scratches on the couch where there were no scratches until three days with baby cat. Yeah? Baby cat. So I've got this full cover king-sized blanket which she has already been running all around. You can see the footprints and the wrinkles in it. She very much enjoys it. So, it's good. It's nice and soft. Really, really soft. And it static clings to the couch, which is good, so it won't be falling off all the time. That's a nice thing. Well, I just got back. It is 8 o'clock at night. It is 75 degrees indoors, 9 degrees outdoors, uh, zero wind. Barometric pressure is pretty low, trending towards snow at 8 o'clock at night and I'm just back to the off-grid project in the tiny house on wheels.